Hi, my name is Ronnie Cosse, here at Cora Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine's Riverside location, where I'm the physical therapist and clinic manager. In this video, we will be talking about strength training and the importance of strength training for runners. Strength training for runners is all about injury prevention. All foundations break down over time, and since the body is one big kinetic chain, underdeveloping or overutilizing certain areas in the body can lead to mechanical breakdown and eventual injury. A strength training program for runners should obviously include leg training, but it's also important to focus on the core and the upper extremities. The core is going to fire every time you take a step during your running. The upper extremities can help maintain your speed throughout your races. However, simply hitting the gym is not going to cut it. To best reduce risk of injury, adding cross training such as swimming or cycling develops muscles underutilized by running alone and creates better balance in the body. Now, we are going to explore some of the most common areas of weakness for runners. Here Julie is demonstrating strengthening the hip flexors. The hip flexors are important because they go from the upper leg to the pelvis and the lumbar spine. Any weakness in this group of muscles can cause an imbalance when you're running. Here Julie is demonstrating marching, a progressed version of marching with resistance with a TheraBand. You can add an ankle weight or TheraBand for resistance. If this is too challenging for you, you can take away any resistance and perform a simple march. If balance is your issue, you can stand next to the kitchen counter or put your hand on the back of a chair for stability. In addition, if you cannot stand and perform this exercise, lay on your back and simply try to bring your knee towards your head. Another common area of weakness for runners are the hip rotators. The hip internal and external rotators are going to act as stabilizing muscles when you're in the stance phase during running. Here Julie is demonstrating clamshells. These will work the external rotators by simply lifting the knee up in a sideline position. To do reverse clamshells, instead of the knee, you'll lift at the ankle. This will work the internal rotators. To be the best runner you can be, it's important to have a solid core. Any weakness in your core leads to imbalance, which leads to injury. Having a strong core can help to transfer the forces from your lower extremities to your upper body. Here Julie is demonstrating a plank. This is neutral spine and she's going to maintain this for upwards of a minute. That's how you know you're doing a good job. Here Julie is demonstrating alternating arms and legs in a quadruped position. She's maintaining neutral spine by reaching out and not up while keeping her core engaged. Going slow and controlled is the key. For this exercise, quality is always better than quantity. For more information on strength training and to schedule your free 15-minute musculoskeletal screen, call 904-647-4284 to reach our Riverside location. Be on the lookout for new videos every month from Cora Rehabilitation and Jacksonville Running Company.